Okay, this is the links menu template. This is one of my favorite templates with MetaDomainer, mainly because it replicates the most popular parked page services, which have been around for many years. So if you're currently parking your page with another service, they typically give you a links page. And that's all it is, it's just links. The whole goal is that someone land, lands on your website and they click off your website and you make income on either the click or on the sale that generates from that. But with our links menu templates, you're in 100% control of the content on the pages. And so let's just say, for example, that you have a lot of niche domains. Well, you can create your own link menu for those niches and just interchange them depending upon the domain niche that you're in. So in our example, we have the My Affiliate Links template, which actually comes preloaded with MetaDomainer. We use it for two purposes. It's an example menu, and also, of course, it has our links in it. So if anybody clicks off these links, we would get a sale of one of our products. But you can also add in your own affiliate links for these, and you make the sale. So it's a quick way to demonstrate the value of having affiliate links on a, on a landing page, but also gives you the flexibility to change them as much as you want. And so I'm going to show you how that works right now. So this is a template. It's controlled by the template editor. So right now I have this up. This is the linksmenupage.com uh, title. This is the post editor text, which you can do anything you want with and change the text. I've obviously assigned the links menu template. I've added a company name. And so this is just the links menu company name page. I could change this to be, you know, X, Y, Z company like this and just go and click on update. And you're going to see that this will change automatically. So I did this for two reasons. A lot of times you just want to put the domain name in here, but you may just want to have a keyword, uh, a couple of like a targeted keyword instead. So that's why, so there's not set to be a domain name. You can do company name, you can do domain name, you can do whatever you want. So I could go back in here and I could just change this to links menu page.com if that's what I wanted to do and have that at the top like that. Okay. So the next thing is the post editor. Actually, I'll get to that at last. Let me show you the menu. So I'm going to go into appearance and menus and I'm going to go and show you the affiliate links. So this is my affiliate links one. It's preloaded right now in your meta domain or install. You can delete this. You can change it. You can do whatever you want. It won't be overwritten, but this is Gene's domain course. Uh, this is my WordPress theme. If you want, you can just put an affiliate link for my WordPress theme here and earn 50%. This is MetaDomainer. So if you're an affiliate for MetaDomainer, you can add your affiliate link there. This is our recommended web host, SiteGround. So you can add in your recommended web host and use your affiliate link. And if you do that, you instantly have an affiliate page. But you don't have to use this, okay? So say that you want to create your own menu. So I'm going to create a new menu. And maybe it's, you know... Um, I'm just going to put Dan's programs. I'm just typing that in there. So I'm going to make that create menu, right? And now I could just go in and add in a bunch of affiliate links. So I could just, if I'm an affiliate for Aweber, for example, I could type in my Aweber affiliate link. I could type in Aweber list building. Click on add, right? Now maybe I'm an affiliate for uh, HostGator. So I could type in my HostGator affiliate link and type in HostGator, right? And I could do web hosting. Or maybe I have another site that's for sale. Uh, I could just do a site, you know, like domainforsale.com and it just say something like great domain for sale. Click on add to menu. Then I could go in here and I could add descriptions, list building service. Web hosting, obviously you want to add more effective description service. And here I could say buy this domain now for $99.95. And I'm just going to save this. Once again, it's called Dan's Programs. So I'm going to go back to Meta Domainer. I'm going to go into the Links menu page. I'm going to scroll down here to Custom Menu, and I'm going to change it to Dan's Programs. Then I'm going to click on Update, and I'm going to go back to this page, and I'm going to reload. 
and all of those just changed. So do you see the value in that? You could just create multiple, you could create 50 menus with different link systems. And if you're using the PHP or the domain forwarding and masking, then you would automatically update the links on all of your site network. So if you have thousands of domains and using PHP or forwarding and masking, you control the links on thousands of domains instantly remotely simply by changing the WordPress menu. Make sense? So the other thing that's cool about this is that the post editor, I want to get to that. So if I go in here, this is the post editor. You can add any text you want. You can add, if you wanted to add in 500 words of text hoping to get the page indexed, you could do that. However, you can also use the Amazon ads. So I could go in here and click on Amazon ads and I'm gonna go like this and I'm just gonna leave the finance search phrase in here. I'm gonna click on update. I'm gonna go like this, I'm gonna reload and now it's filled with Amazon ads as well. So you not only have outbound links, you have Amazon ads on the page. Pretty cool, huh? I wanna mention uh, Amazon re recently changed their disclaimers. So if you have a disclosure, make sure that you're using the latest, if you're, and you're doing Amazon ads, make sure you add the latest Amazon disclosure to the page. Now, the other thing you'll notice that also has this domain may be for sale. So this will link off to your uh, contact page. So that is controlled on another tab, which is under general and your contact URL. So you'd want to change that, okay? And you can also, if you're listing it for sale or doing other things, all these fields are editable. You may have seen it in my other videos, but I just want to mention that domain for sale is, is covered there. Uh, if you don't want to have this, you can use CSS to disable this. I should have a button in a future update where you can just disable it. But if you go in here, it should be right under, I think it's just the alert. Let me see. I should have known this for the video. Yeah, display none. So if you want to disable that, you can just go to custom CSS and you can type in alert display none. Once again, it's advanced. I'll have a button to disable this in some future update. And like so, and now I reload and the for sale thing is gone. So that is kind of how the links menu page works. So you can control other methods, other things of the CSS, but it's just a really easy way to add custom links, interlink websites, affiliate links, ad links, Amazon ads to a links menu page. So uh, and, and this is my favorite template just because you can have the domain for sale button, you can have links, you can have ads. So if someone landing on your page, they, you basically get the trifecta of, of revenue, link building, uh, traffic, and potential buyer for the domain. So I hope this video was helpful.